Today we're going to talk about the binomial distribution. A binomial distribution is an experiment that consists of n identical trials, and each trial can result in either a success or a failure. The probability of, of success is constant from trial to trial, and I, this little pi is uh, the symbol for the probability of success and each trial um, will be independent of each other. If x is the total number of successes in n trials of a binomial experiment then x is considered a binomial random variable. So the, this will be the Excel command that you would use to figure out answers for binomial distribution problems as B-I-N-O-M-D-I-S-T. X would be the number of successes. N is the number of trials that you have. And then you have your probability of success. The last one you would either put true or false depending on the problem. You would use false if you have an equal sign. And for true, you would use that when you have a less than, less than or equal to an equality sign. So let's go over a problem. Um, let's say you have five trials, so n is five. The probability of success is 0 0.4. We want to find the probability that x is equal to 4. You might see it written in some of your problems like this. This is also saying the probability that x is equal to 4. So, I gave you the command that I just showed you for Excel, and we're going to put the numbers in. So, the number of successes will be 4. 5 will be the number of trials. Um, your probability of success should be 0 0.4. And I should note that this should be the little pi sign. In some books, they put p. In your book, they put this little pi sign. Um, and then in this case, since we have equal to, we want equal to 4, we're going to put false. Um, this here basically means um, cumulative. It's asking you, um, is it going to be cumulative or not? And cumulative means everything less than or equal to that specific number. We're going to do a few problems where, we, where we'll have cumulative. But in this case, we don't want cumulative. We just want the exact number for 4. So you will put false. We do not want cumulative. And when you copy this into Excel, your answer is 0 0.0768. Okay. Let's do another problem. We have five trials. The probability of success is 0 0.4 and we want to figure out the probability that the number of successes would be less than or equal to 3. You might see it written as probability of x less than or equal to 3. You might see it written like that as well. So, in this case, once again, the number of successes would be 3. The number of trials would be 5 probability of success is 0 0.4 and in this case we want uh, the last part to say true. We want everything less than or equal to 3. So we want it to be cumulative. So once you put that in Excel you get 0 0.9130. Now sometimes you will have to trick Excel to uh, give you some of these answers. It's just the way you put it into the Excel program. In this case, uh, we want to figure out the probability that x is less than 2. Well, you cannot use the command here that I have and plug in 2 because we want everything less than 2. We don't want everything less than or equal to 2. So if we put uh, true here for cumulative it's going to give, and if we put, sorry, if we put true here and the number 2 here, it's going to give us everything less than or equal to 2. 
but our problem says everything less than two so those are two totally different things so what you can do is you can trick Excel um, everything less than or equal to two is the same thing as saying um, everything less than or equal to one so if it's less than two then it has to be equal to one and everything less than one so here instead of having two I'm going to put one it's the same concept if it's less than two then it must be equal to one and everything less than one and so once you do that you can plug uh, you'll get your answer you can just take this command and plug into Excel you get point three three seven zero and then for the next one <coughs> excuse me we want to figure out the probability that X is greater than one greater than one what well, Excel will not give us everything greater than a specific number for the binomial distribution it will only give you cumulative amounts so it will, be give, it will give you everything less than so once again you can trick it <coughs> The probability that x is greater than 1 is the same as saying 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. So you can type this into Excel, 1 minus, and then your binomial distribution, and then you're going to put 1, and then the number of trials 5, 0.4, and then true. And it'll calculate everything greater than 1 and you get 0 .6630. So you really have to be careful when you look at the signs. Um, like I said, Excel will work for you when you have equal to or if you have less than or equal to. If you have uh, less than or greater than or greater than or equal to, you're going to have to do a few tricks with Excel. Okay? I hope that helps.